So, hey guys, Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com. And today we have a digital marketer and a good friend of mine, Karan Shah, live on the call. So, Karan Shah runs an institute called uh, uh, IID in Mumbai. And um, he has like a pretty good setup, amazing office, great team. Uh, does a lot of work in digital marketing, one of the top uh, digital marketing trainers in Mumbai and in India. So glad to have you, Karan. So the format of this webinar is going to be, I'm going to just ask you some random questions about digital marketing, your career and things like that for the next 15, 20 minutes. And then I will hand over the stage to you. And then you can talk about uh, WhatsApp automation, LinkedIn automation, and some of the cool things that uh, we were planning to talk about. Cool, yeah. And um, you are also a trainer uh, or a speaker in High Traffic Summit Mumbai. So coming, all the High Traffic Summit one on one start coming back. So after the COVID probably, and until then we might be doing just virtual events. Done, 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 done. Mm. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much, Deepak, for having me here. Long time. There should be a good one. Yes. Let's have some fun with the audience. Let's show them yes. something new. What so, how I? many of you guys here uh, know about Karan Shah already? IID. Just type me in the chat box if you know about him already. Oh, nice. We have quite some people who know you already, Karan. Wow, interesting. Yes, wow, that's a lot. I'm, yes. I'm, thanks, guys. I'm, I'm happy to see the me's and uh, to all the knows. I'm going to make you have a good time today for sure. So let's start talking about your career journey a little bit. And, uh, you know, considering the kind of revenues that you have been making, I would definitely put you in the bucket of a successful entrepreneur. Of course, we all have a long way to go in terms of, definitely. you know, making the billions. But uh, uh, what I have figured out based on my life experience, talking to a lot of people is that, you know, people who graduate from Ivy League colleges, people who do MBA, uh, uh, all those people are like having a sense of entitlement and that alone, you know, sometimes it can lead to success, but that alone is not, you know, uh, good enough for, you know, becoming successful as a, you know, entrepreneur, right? So most of the successful entrepreneurs that I see who are street smart, you know, started with sales and had some, you know, uh, knack for sales, you know, just... You know, um, in Hindi, I think you say Danda, right? Danda. Uh, Danda, I mean, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, I always misspell it. So, <laughs> how do you spell it? D H A N D H A. Danda. Danda. Uh, Danda. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's, that's how we all evolved, right? You know, all of us have sold something. And in fact, I have not shared this uh, much with my audience, but the first entrepreneurial venture that I had. Uh, was that I got a computer when I was in, uh, you know, 10th standard. And then I got like, got into like a military kind of strict school where they give you like rigorous training for 11th and 12th standard. But I was not re really into studies, you know, I was still a backbencher. Correct. And uh, a lot of people were like into games at that time. Okay. And uh, a lot of people wanted games and it was really frustrating to, you know, share the games with each other and, at that time, we had like Red Alert, Commandos, GTA, Vice City, and all those uh, games, Max Payne. And, uh, you know, it was really frustrating to share the games because people will have CDs and CDs will get scratched. You cannot use it. <laughs> and uh, nobody had like a CD writer. So I went ahead and bought a CD writer for 4,000 rupees, installed okay. it on my system. Okay. And, uh, and I started, uh, you know, buying blank CDs for like 15 rupees per CD. Okay. So I would uh, write games on it and I would say that, Hey, give me your game. I will make a copy. I will give it back to you. I will also give you like other games. So first I built up my collection. I built like a catalog <laughs> and then whoever asked for games, I would like sell it for 100, 200 rupees. This is excellent. Okay. And uh, I took back the investment that I made in the CD writer back just by, you know, selling. <laughs> <pirated CDs. laughs> That's how every business story begins. Yeah. That's I mean, story. almost every successful entrepreneur I know has done something like this, some hustle like this. Absolutely. Sometimes not strictly legal. Obviously, you know, in a, in a small scale, I mean, it's all fine when you are excited about it. And then my dad, like, stop, study. Uh, just focus on your studies. What are you doing? So <laughs> then there was like, once I entered 12th standard, everything was put into like a stop. So... I want to ask how your career started, you know, where was that, 
you know when when i started making some money and then i got into affiliate marketing made my first 25 dollars from commissionjunction.com that's where i was like this whole feeling that comes no dude like i don't need to wait for others to give me permission and others to pick me like you know give me a placement offer or whatever i can go ahead and do something myself so that feeling when was it for you what i mean, i think we have talked about it when we were at mumbai uh, but for the audience uh, tell Excellent. your story so guys i have a similar story actually deepak um, and i just want to spend 10 30 20 seconds on that by the way i also used to write cds okay uh, <laughs> <laughs> but i used to write uh, back in the days i think you used to get um, a cd which could accommodate only up to 30 40 mb i can't remember okay yeah. i used to download songs from limewire okay crash the cd and then sell the cd for 300 rupees a mozart bear cd used to cost 10 bucks that time yes yes and i used to sell with songs at 300 bucks i'm talking about 2005 uh i i can't remember right now yeah like, around that time hmm. 17.4 mb harshal patel has got it right Ah. Uh, something around 17 <laughs> MB, and then used to use this compression software to compress the songs and sell them. So, guys, I've been opportunistic for the longest time. After I did that, this is on record, but I'm still gonna go ahead and say, uh, the there was a time when in Mumbai hookah parlors got banned, and uh, I was still under age that time, but really wanted to smoke hookah and wanted all my friends to also smoke hookah. I realized that all it takes is an ID card to smoke hookah. so i said why not create my own id card so so at some point in time uh, I, i i was one of the biggest sellers of id cards cuz i knew photoshop and i can put any one's photo and anything this very cool skill sets back in the days when no one had but these are just stories to be opportunistic and to make yeah. money mm. but i really want the audience today to know is how i started my training journey which mm. is very different uh, i never thought i'll be a trainer can you guys hear me if you guys can hear me please type yes in chat i can hear some um, sound errors if you can hear me please type yes in chat okay excellent so i'm going to proceed yeah so guys i when i was 18 years old i started working for this bpo uh, a financial bpo called edelweiss edelweiss financial services i'm not sure have you guys heard of this company called edelweiss type in chat yes if you've heard of edelweiss okay excellent seems like a lot of people have heard of edelweiss so i used to work in their call center and my job was to daily sell dmat accounts so i had to call people and say do you have a dmat account you know a bank account is for your normal banking and a dmat account is for your shares if you don't understand buying and selling of shares of companies which are listed on bse or nse so drishan is saying is a stock broker but okay so uh, my job was to call 200 people a day and ask them to actually buy dmat accounts and two months into the job um i was 18 years old two months into the job i got a letter of uh, termination saying that you have been managed to achieve enough sales or sell enough dmat accounts so please resign this is your last month you are not able to justify your salary now i come from mumbai originate from gujarat i'm a gujarati uh we can't accept such things we are salesmen that that's what at least my family has taught me to be very honest so i said i cannot get fired i have to change this game and i'm 18 years old so what i do was is is very funny i actually went to my college classroom and i asked everybody and i'm this i'm talking today i'm touching 30 so i'm talking about 11 years now ago and um, i went to my college classroom and i announced in my classroom saying hey guys how many of you guys want to learn stock markets literally everybody raised their hands up and i said okay uh, the branch manager of edelweiss is going to conduct a training on saturday and sunday i was i was very good friends with my branch manager i used to drink with him on weekends and i convinced him to do a training so i managed to go to my college make an announcement and i got 100 people to come to my office on a sunday which was shut and we had enough place for these people to come in actually in 4 months we got 481 people and all these 481 people came to the branch on sundays and saturdays to do very quick training on stock markets everybody was intrigued by stock markets that time literally whoever did the stock market training everybody opened a dmat account with edelweiss from being terminated at at edelweiss i became edelweiss's pan india salesman of the quarter but the beauty was i never phone called anybody all my colleagues used to phone call people and convince them for stock market accounts i used to get my branch manager to train my friends and my friends and friends of friends 
and all the people who got trained went ahead and started opening DMAT accounts with Edelweiss. So that's where at the age of 18, I got exposed to the training industry. I was actually, I'm actually a finance student and I have nothing to do with finance in my life. But back then due to finance and because of my finance internship, I actually got introduced to training. After that guys, I started working with my sister who now runs a company called Social Connect. Connect. I don't know. Has anybody heard of this company called Connect? K-I-N-N-E-C-T. If you Google it, it's actually one of India's largest digital marketing company in terms of revenues. Largest. I'm talking about the largest. It does IPL digital marketing, Dream11 digital marketing, Hotstar digital marketing, uh, Amazon Prime is done by them. All, all 360 degree digital marketing is done by them. And I was the first salesman. I was their first salesman. It's a company called Kinect, K-I-N-N-E-C-T. So I was their first salesman. My sister had no money to hire anybody. So she hired me as a salesman because I was a telecaller in my previous job. So I'm 19 years old and uh, I learned digital marketing while working under them, under my sister's company. I was their first, first employee actually. And when I learned digital marketing and I started selling it to clients, my first client, by the way, guys, was have more ice creams back 11 years ago. My second client was Gits Food. My third client was ADF Food. Uh, so different, different clients I onboarded. And then I realized that all the people who I was training stock markets, none of them even know, I mean, nobody back then, no subject in college taught digital marketing. And we were just taught four P's of marketing, price, product, placement, something. I'm sure you all know the four P's of marketing. So what I did was I made a small two day course in digital marketing. And I went to all my stock market students who were learning stock market with me on weekend. And I asked them, Hey guys, you know, you all have learned stock markets. You all liked it. Would you guys like to learn digital marketing? And back then there was nothing like Instagram, by the way, guys, there was only Facebook. And, uh, literally in the first six to eight, six, seven months, I got 500 people learning Facebook marketing from me, how to make Facebook ads at 50 pesa and sell likes at five rupees. That was the business, which I used to teach people. So Deepak may know about this. Like back then you could sell likes at four rupees, five rupees. Yes. That's what I used to teach people guys, how to make ads at 50 pesa and sell likes at five rupees. And, um, that's how I got introduced to digital marketing training when I was 19 years old. So that's my story. I, and then I took up a small garage uh, in, in Mumbai in Cherny Road East in a chawl. It was literally a small, I don't know how small, very small garage, just enough for a car. I used to teach, uh, there were eight plastic chairs, uh, and I used to teach. And sometimes my Edelweiss's branch manager used to come on Saturdays, Sundays and teach eight students is the maximum I could fit. And yeah, guys, that's how I started my training industry, training job 11 years ago. Today, I have a team of more than 85 people, more than 1,500 students doing my courses offline, more than 50,000 students doing them online, uh, more than 40, 50 visiting faculties. And uh, yeah, I'm the CEO of Indian Institute of Digital Education. Never thought it would become this, but just started as a young age trying to do something cool. And then today, this is where I am. So, so yeah. Fantastic. That's uh, quite a journey, Karan. And uh, how long have you been it like you know since you started the entire uh, you know um, getting roughly, into this whole sales and everything roughly 12 12 years man yes roughly 12 years it so, takes a decade no before the results start like really compounding and starts coming in easy 10 years man easy 10 years yeah i think that this would have been my 10th year and i would have hoped for some great sales but covid happened and and life is moving but it's becoming stronger like we're getting back to normal 100 percent yeah. i mean um People like us uh, who survive this out will come out stronger because a lot of weak businesses, uh, people who don't have that resilience and persistence, they are going out of the market. I mean, recession is the best competition killer ever, right? So I'm actually very happy because half the other businesses that did the same thing is are, are shut down, shutters are down. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, um, you know, a lot of people, especially, you know, young people today, uh, they are like six months, may results chai, one year, may results chai. I mean, you can get some results which, where uh, you know you will be able to feed yourself and take care of yourself. But my advice would be like you know be conservative and keep focusing on your art, keep focusing on your skill. And then after like five years, it starts like showing good results, and after ten years, it goes like the exponential curve. Right? Absolutely. People just don't stick to one thing for long enough. 
Hmm. So guys, what do you think about the story so far? You know, let us know in the chat box. And what else do you want me to ask, Karan? Usually, I have a set of questions, but uh, I want you guys to you know ask questions. And uh, what else do you want to know? Uh, can you talk about you know, Karan, uh, the most uh, you know something like the biggest challenge that you had uh, in in your career in the past ten years where it felt like you like everything is coming to an end i'm hitting rock bottom i'm sure that every entrepreneur has a stage like that so you guys need to understand that i never started training as karan shah i i tried doing training as an institute like i tried mm. branding myself as an institute mm. and when you're selling like an institute the first thing that comes to an audience's mind is who's providing the certification mm. right so i used to go to colleges and try doing tie ups with colleges deepak it used to take me like i remember tying up with this college in mumbai called national college to do a social media marketing training it took me 14 attempts of sitting outside the principal's office to get a one minute meeting with him you know every time i would come he would ask me to get out mm. and nobody would meet me because i was just 22 23 when i was going uh, going to people with my concept that i want to teach people digital marketing mumbai mein there was no other institute in digital marketing as such mm. so uh, it's just people's trust was zero i had zero credibility and people's trust in me was zero and that's when sales becomes very difficult because no one's trusting you you don't have any credibility on the table why should somebody buy a product from you mm. Mm. but guys the reality so, of it is a thousand days in any business and people start trusting you three years or 1000 days any of the two And that's a very interesting way to put it you know people trust you when maybe you have like you know done 1000 days exactly three years mm. and when i started doing that today the tables have turned today colleges from across the country i'm tied up with will call me and i have to now give them an appointment of when i'm going to be capable or i have the time to meet them so 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 tables have turned you know tables have turned today because of covid everyone thought as digital marketing to padhana hi hai Not a single college has a teacher. Not a single of them have a certificate course. So now they'll ring me up and they'll say, "Hey, can you do this for us?" And now I have to choose who I want to partner with. So life has drastically changed in this case, you know. But it was all about it was all about just trying every day, waking up every morning, and not giving up, and yes. always being a salesman. Mm, mm, so, mm. so guys, always be a salesperson, especially if you're the CEO of your organization. Sales, sales is the key skill. that you will need to have across the yes. entire journey totally you know i say that uh, uh, all is well when you sell 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 <laughs> <laughs> keep selling you know like people keep doing that even if they don't realize i mean if somebody is going out there and trying to get a girlfriend they are selling themselves like you know as exactly. a boyfriend right you know if you are going and getting a job you know you are still a salesman you are selling yourself as an employee exactly every time you try to convince someone of something and every time you are trying to influence someone you are, you are selling something right you are selling an idea or even if you are a blogger and if you are just writing content if, if people want to you know people might not pay you money but people are paying you attention and you are selling that content you are selling the proposition that hey read my content and i will give you something of value follow me subscribe you know everything is a sale fantastic so no um Uh, next question i want to ask you is that you have some experience in building a team and uh, working with a team and really hiring great people so i have seen your team and i have seen how well you have put together a team so what are the you know uh, biggest challenges that you have faced in hiring what are the learning so like no entrepreneur can build forget a billion dollar company or even a multi million dollar company by being a single person even those people who are like being personal brands eventually they kind of become entrepreneurs right you know uh, they they have a team they have freelancers working for them so just like you yes right and uh, what is the you know uh, biggest thing that you have learned when it comes to hiring what are the pitfalls that you have had what are the hurdles that you crossed and what took to build a team like you have right now so guys i'll just backtrack with one line every business owner according to me should concentrate on three things sales creating processes and hiring people for those processes 
And now let me move to what is hiring. So remember, if you're a business owner, concentrate on sales, create processes for the sales and keep hiring people to service those sales. Uh, and now let's get to the hiring piece. I think before when I used to meet people, uh, because my organization was so small, I used to hire anyone. Like join my organization. We all have made that mistakes, no? Hire anyone. As soon as we start making some money, you know, there is this whole mentality in India that, you know, if you are providing employment to a lot of people, then you are a successful entrepreneur. That gets in our head when yeah. we start businesses, yeah. right? Yeah. But it's not, it's, it, it's a very, like I would say, maybe you can do it when you start. But today, when I'm running my own organization, I am so picky with hiring. It is unbelievable. You know, I will show you guys a dumb test that I give. Uh, so I'll tell you a few tests that I give my people. Okay. And maybe you all can follow this. I literally have four tests that I give people. And there's a fifth one, which I will share my screen and show you guys. But I give a test. So first of all, there are three rounds of screening. One is where we screen you on the phone to check your English and your skills. Second is the technical person who my team is now hiring will hire. And the third, I uh, do an interview just to check your vibe. Are you culturally a fit for my organization? In the first round, which is a telephonic interview, we just check how you are as a person, your English, your comm skills, you know, your background basics. In the technical round, we definitely give a test, which is of four things. Number one, we ask you to clean data on Excel. If you can't, you can't join my organization. Number two, we give you a simple test to write an SMS, write a sales driven SMS under, under 160 characters. If you can't think of it, you're out. Number three, write a cold email. So reach out to somebody new and try writing a cold email. We check your English, your grammar, your pronunciation, then your subject line thoughts in that. And number four, convert your entire resume into a PPT, into a two slide PPT. So when we give this to people, they are like a little off, but this allows us to filter the crowd very well, very fast. So we have a preset four test and you guys should do this very often. I, I promise you your filtering of talent will become much sharper for you. Excel, SMS, email and PowerPoint. And then the fifth test, uh, Deepak, do you mind if I share my screen and show a test to them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So I will just uh, make you the host. So you have the permission to share the screen. So oh, you have. Share this. I will need to open my WhatsApp actually one second. Uh, but it's a really funny test. And sometimes some people give up on me. They're like, we don't want to work in your organization because you're giving me a test like this. Uh, but in reality sakes, it is the genuine test. It is the test which I feel it is so lame, but it is testing people's uh, attention to detail. It is testing so many other parameters. Sorry, I think my WhatsApp is taking some time to load out here. Uh, excuse me for that, guys. But, okay, so I will start sharing again once my WhatsApp loads. But yeah, Deepak, that's, this, is, this is pretty much hiring, guys, is a key criteria. Uh, I also started doing something, Deepak, when I, when I started seeing some people leave, I started doing something called retention money. Mm -hmm. So what I used to do is if let's say your package is 3 lakh rupees, uh, I would keep 8%. I would only pay you 2.7 lakh over 12 months. And then I would pay you the remaining 30 grand on the end of the 12th month so that you don't end up quitting the job in the middle. So that mm -hmm. my investment in you in terms of time um, is not going to waste. That's and actually a very good idea. I'm going to steal that. <laughs> <laughs> Deepak, whoever I use this strategy on till date did not quit the organization for a minimum tenure of one year. So, mm. so it has worked out really well for me. And uh, you guys should also try it. And we, we coin it by the word called retention bonus. And every year we keep increasing the amount. So if we increase the salary, we also increase the retention bonus. For my top people, we do stuff like giving them a driver. Uh, giving them an allowance, giving them petrol, diesel, so that we are basically, I start because after the point, I can't increase salary. I start giving other things to ease your life out. I'm willing to pay for your maid. I'm willing to pay for your driver, you know? So, and basically what I want them to do is when they work, go from work to home or home to work, the one hour drive in Mumbai, they should be working that time as well. Cause they are so smart. I need them. So I rather give them a driver so that they can sit in the back. And they're actually thinking about work because that's what they're doing. They're, they're uberly, they're very honestly invested in work. But when they're on their steering wheel, they're not able to think so much. 
so these are the kind of perks i've been giving people so so yeah an excel test a ppt test an sms test in within 160 characters a cold email test with a subject line and uh, i'm also going to show you all uh, this one really lame test guys which i give people I'm just trying to find it right now <laughs> it's extremely funny okay i've got it i'm just going to quickly share my screen and if you guys want you all can take a screenshot of this <laughs> uh it's basically it's just a simple like a like a very simple thing but people really need to figure how to get this math okay and uh till date not a single candidate has got the math uh, and i must have interviewed more than 500 people in my lifetime or maybe more this i don't know it's very interesting i need a notebook and pen and i'm going to like do the math right now <laughs> Okay, okay so if there's anybody who can do the math right now uh and if you're seeking an internship I'm definitely happy to meet you uh just randomly saying I don't know where where your where your backgrounds come from no not a single answer on the groups are correct not a single answer on chat till now is correct <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say right nobody gets this right absolutely nobody gets this right So I'm going to give you guys. Wait, 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 Karan. Let me. I have that here. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Nineteen. <coughs> no, that's incorrect. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. Sorry. There is a multiplication. Niche. Yes, that's what most people uh, miss. So if you go by board mass, use the multiplication yeah. first. So so ten plus five. No, uh, that's five into four, twenty. Twenty plus ten, thirty. Is it thirty? <laughs> Wait, guys, none of y'all will get this right. Now, when I'll give y'all some small hints, y'all will understand. So, in this interview, we help them. Okay. So mm. now, first things first. These are two shoes. Here, there's only one shoe. Oh, damn! <laughs> Here, there are two mumphalis. Here, there's only one mumphali. Okay, now if I kind of zoom into this dude out here, uh, which people are able to do. Oops, sorry. Oh man. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the bad language, guys. Sorry for the bad. It's a WhatsApp chat with someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Right, but if oh, he has man, two things on his hand. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> he is holding two of these things, and he also has two shoes on. So uh, now the entire math changes. Oh damn! <laughs> Attention to detail. <laughs> So, but I am just trying to tell you guys that I have used this so many times to to and and if anybody wants, take a photo of this right now before I shut the screen. If you guys want, just so take so a let me let me calculate. Okay, the shoe, uh, the shoe pair is ten. This okay. guy is five. These two things are four, <laughs> which means two into two. You, yeah, I give up. <laughs> <I'll> give up. <laughs> Okay, I quickly break it down for you guys. Okay, yeah. You see, the shoe is five. The first shoe out here is five. Ah. Uh. This guy out here is five. He's holding two mumphalis in his hand, and they are four. By the way, uh. this is uh, yeah, four plus four. four is eight. Eight plus five. So he's holding two mumphalis, which is four. So he is five. His mumphalis are four. That's nine. nine. And his shoes are ten. Okay. So he's nineteen. Nineteen. So nineteen he's into two. Nineteen into two. Which is thirty-eight, and thirty-eight plus five. So the answer is forty-three. Mm. If anybody wants that, the answer to this quiz was forty-three. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Basically, the idea out here is just to check if the person is paying attention to detail, is zooming in, looking at things, and then we'll say, "Hey, no, that's not the answer. Zoom in and see what's going on." Mm -hmm. And then we're trying and to get the jump person. into conclusions uh, very soon, right? We are like overconfident. It looks like okay. It's like an algebra equation. Yeah. So it's a joke, but honestly, uh, some people get very pissed off in interviews and just walk away because they they feel like I'm offending them. But in my eyes, I am uh, only hiring if you're attentive attentive to detail. If you're not zooming in, you're not seeing things. So then, so then, you make me work with me. What are you doing? Pure time, my mouth is gali khao gaya. So 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 that's that's a little bit on my hiring piece, man. Nice. Funny, funny. I've never said this to anyone. It is the first time on public I've said this and given this test out to people. Fantastic. So very nice, and uh, you know, I had a point in mind when you said you need to 
you know, be good at hiring. You need to be. So I always think that uh, CEO needs to be a salesperson, uh, as you said. But there are three people that you need to sell to. Uh, one person is the customer who will pay money for your products and services or your content or whatever. That is just, you know, one of it. I just tweeted it out as well. And then the next person is going to be your uh, team. I mean, you need a good employer brand as well if you want to attract your team. So you need to create a good employer brand. And I have seen people advise on just like you create a customer avatar to attract customers, you also create like a uh, employee avatar who is the right employee. You know, what is the age group and everything so that you go ahead and uh, attract them. And then you also need to sell the idea to your partners, business partners, co-founders, investors, so that they buy in into the idea because no great company is created without you know, investment partners or, you know, uh, joint ventures or whatever, like what we are doing right now is a joint venture, right? So, um, so these are the three people that CEO needs to keep selling to. And, um, yeah, I mean, these are like what you need to sell in the professional life. Yeah. You, there's no way, there's no way out otherwise. Yes. Yes. All right. So I think now we can, uh, go ahead and, uh, give the stage to you and, uh, you can, I will make you the host. Okay. All right. So I'm changing the host to you. So guys, Karan will be giving a presentation on WhatsApp automation and LinkedIn automation. And uh, if there are any questions, then you can ask Karan as well. So I will be around. I will just switch off my uh, mic and uh, video and I will catch up with you towards the end of the webinar. Well, it's cool. Uh, That's Deepak. All right. Go ahead, Karan. By the way, the answer to that question, guys, is 43. Yeah. To all those who want. Maybe Deepak can put it on his Facebook group where you all are and uh, yes. I can take it from there. You can just forward it to me on WhatsApp, that image. I, I, I will definitely forward it to you on WhatsApp. Yes. So how was the interview so far, guys? Uh, just put it in the chat box. What do you think about the discussion so far? What is, was it useful? Uh, was it like uh, enlightening in certain aspects when it comes to entrepreneurship and attitude and everything? Fantastic. So now that I've got my new camera set up, I'm planning to do a lot more <laughs> interviews and podcasts like this. Nice. nice. So a good start. I think uh, it started with you, Karan. So, oh, excellent. Wow. Yes. This is your first day with this camera? I mean, I have done uh, uh, um, uh, webinars and internal webinars for my students. But in terms of doing something like a podcast or an interview, this is the first time. And I'm going to take podcasts and interviews seriously for my YouTube channel, growing my YouTube channel. Wow, nice. so you are first in the series. Wow, nice. You look very handsome in this camera. I must yeah, think. I was like, so that day, you know, the battery in the camera ran out. Okay. And uh, I was like, okay, disconnected the camera and put my laptop webcam on. Like, dude, I, I was like looking so much better in that camera. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right. So, oh, exactly. Right. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to take it further, guys. Uh, hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. If you guys can see me clearly, if you guys can hear me clearly, if you can see my chat, uh, sorry, if you can see my screen, which says conversion optimizing and marketing automation, go to chat and type yes, yes, two words. Yes, yes. So I like saying a lot of yes, yes, because it's a very optimistic thing to say yes. I say yes to everything. People who say no are people who I really don't like. Uh, so let's go ahead. I am actually doing something very different today. This is, uh, you know, I, to be very honest, guys, I've been teaching digital marketing for like years now. And when I spoke to Deepak, he said that, dude, let's do something different. You know, everyone comes to webinars, teaches something conceptual. Why don't you show something which is true to what you actually do? Why don't you show something live? Why don't you show something which you actually do behind the scenes, not what you show your students? So this is the first time I've agreed to it. And I'm going to show you guys what I do behind the scenes. Okay. And for that, I need a little conceptual understanding over the next five, seven minutes, but I'm going to show you guys something genuinely behind the scenes. Okay. Like literally behind the scenes, what is actual marketing and where to concentrate marketing on. So <clears throat> I am going to talk about conversions and I'm going to talk about marketing automation today. How many of you guys know how to do WhatsApp automation? Since Deepak has been using the word WhatsApp automation, how many guys, how many of you guys know how to do WhatsApp automation? So most people don't know WhatsApp automation 
and if you know what what whatsapp hacking or whatsapp automation means then please type the tool on chat let me see what you guys when you say that you know what whatsapp automation whatsapp tools are please type on chat i use in touch app no 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 what else do you guys use please type whatsapp business is not the right answer to that my friends uh premjit let me give me some time let me show you some stuff okay okay so oh there i find someone puneet jaiswal got it right whatsapp sender absolutely correct my friend so so let's quickly go ahead guys uh, i'm going to reintroduce myself to you as of my today's credentials deepa cast you deepa cast me my previous credentials in life but my name is karan shah i am the ceo and founder at iide which stands for the indian institute of digital education well i have actually studied at harvard university and i specialized in private equity and e-commerce strategies i am now currently a visiting faculty at multiple iims i used to teach at more than 14 colleges in mumbai city i have at a personal level trained more than 13000 professionals my institute has trained as i told you multiple more than 60 70000 professionals uh, i've been a tedx speaker i've been a panelist at multiple events uh, and recently for all the hard work we got we've done in the 10th edition in the 10th edition of the indian education congress we were awarded the best digital learning institute of the year so that's a little bit about me and going on further i just want to ask you all so due to covid and due to everything where is our goddamn audience today can someone tell me on chat where is our audience if we want to do marketing where is our audience well absolutely correct right online i am going to show you the next picture on my screen okay i am going to show you the next picture on my screen if you guys agree with the next image i show you on my screen i need you guys to type yes yes on chat again okay so i'm going to show you a picture of how all of us look like before we sleep at night now let me know if this is how you look like before you sleep at night check it out is this how we all look at night well i can see a lot of laughter i can see a lot of yes yes right well basically this and i'm I, and i'm just doing one minute of introduction to catch everyone's attention to make you guys laugh and i'll i'll get into the story uh basically means this is our customer and this is the marketing medium right this is the best friend of the customer and we got to figure out how to get here and how to promote this and and i don't want to talk any theory i want to go practical but just wanted to get your attention right so today i have a mega question to ask you where should you concentrate the most okay i am going to show you a funnel right now no 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 no, no. forget social media and internet right it's obviously digital marketing our, our array of conversation is digital marketing but i am going to show you a small uh, funnel i am sure you all know what a funnel is and my question to you all is that where should you concentrate the most answer in chat in this entire funnel where should you all concentrate the most awareness interest decision action where a lot of people are saying awareness and a lot of people are saying top of the funnel interest middle well to be really honest right today's session and and you can honestly go ahead and purchase deepak's bundle course and he will teach you everything about lead generation right he's an excellent trainer and he will teach you everything about middle of the funnel top of the funnel and maybe some pieces of bottom of the funnel as well but to be very honest if you want to be a genuine digital marketer one of the biggest things that you need to do is you need to be bringing in sales for your organization if you're unable to bring in numeric paisa paisa money you're not going to be able to do this you're not being you're not going to be able to be a good digital marketer and for that for that to be able to bring in the sales right saloni rumta you're absolutely correct right today if you're going to do digital marketing you really need to concentrate out here at the bottom of the funnel right just where you convert the customer just before he walks out of the store how to make him buy many things you know the, what i want to try to tell you all and what today's entire conversation is about today's entire conversation is about is if a hundred people walk into your store and previously historically for the last 10 years 
only for every 100 customers who walk into your store be it an offline store or an online store only one person buys something okay only one person buys let's just take a stat let's just a random statistic like this but today's entire webinar the next half an hour or how much of a time i spent with you spend with you today's webinar is about if there are 100 people who come to your store how to get five people to buy something from you instead of one and for that we need to concentrate at this bottom of the funnel and i will show you everything live okay so hold on but before that to some other people who are not understanding you know uh, i just want to clarify this if you concentrate out here okay and if you concentrate right before they make the purchase decision you know you will be able to convert more inquiries than what you used to do before so today's entire agenda is that if you were converting two people out of every 100 people 100 inquiries two sales the agenda is 100 inquiries remain the same but let's bring in four sales let's let's double up the number of sales do you think that is an interesting agenda if you think so then type interesting on chat excellent right and a lot of people might be suffering from this problem you all might be digital marketers suffering from this problem so let me take you live into how i do this spend maybe 4 or 5 more minutes guys to get a lot of other people on the same page as some of you guys are right and and this is what i think is a very important slide and and if you ever ask me what digital marketing is i would tell you that digital marketing is these three things the three golden rules of digital marketing does anybody know the three golden rules of digital marketing the three golden rules of digital marketing is rule number 1 track your impressions to your clicks from how many times people see your content online and how many times people click there's a percentage to that 1% 2% 3% which means that of every 100 people who see your ad online how many people click right so the first most important rule of digital marketing is impressions to clicks the second most important rule of digital marketing is clicks to leads leads can also be called as inquiries right uh, premjit organic ho ya ad ho ya email ho ya sms ho ya whatsapp ho sir kuch bhi ho you need to concentrate on impressions to clicks clicks to inquiries and inquiries to sales if you are able to measure this the next year i promise you you will be spending 50% of your last year's marketing budget and still being able to bring in the same sales why because you will be able to choose the right marketing channels you will realize organic seo se 10% conversion rate hai out of every 100 customers 10 convert you will realize facebook ads se 0.3% conversion rate hai means from every 100 inquiries 0.3 people convert which means it will take 300 inquiries for one person to convert you will realize google search ads google ads search ads say 1% inquiry hai where every 100 people who inquire one person converts you will realize ki whatsapp marketing kiya then maybe 3% converts email marketing kiya 0.5% converts by the end of the year if you are able to figure these three golden rules of digital marketing you will be able to ace it right and today i am not here to teach you how to get impressions or clicks because that deepak must have taught you or you must have attended all his webinars on how to get impressions and how to get clicks via seo search traffic whatsoever but today i am here to concentrate solely and wholly on this how to improve a number of inquiries to number of sales so number of inquiries remain the same but how to increase the number of sales you get from this number of inquiries can anyone tell me how to improve that type on chat i would like to know does anybody know how to improve the number of sales you get from the same number of inquiries so let's say 100 inquiries last year 100 inquiries this year last year two sales this year 10 sales how to improve from 2 to 10 now you guys are saying trust you know you know referrals and nurture and yeah i can see some i i can see shiva shiva saying something very interesting out there or uh, some sort of automation she is trying to hint towards by giving them trust see guys don't talk conceptual to me give trust give credibility ye sab hai sahi hai but karna kaise 
एग्जैक्ट मीडियम कैसे है क्या रियालिटी है लेट्स लेट्स डिस्कस दैट टुडे एंड लेट मी शो यू सम ऑफ दैट टुडे राइट सो आई एम वेरी वेरी स्पेसिफिक ऑन माय एजेंडा गाइस दिस इज व्हाट आई वांट टू सॉल्व आई होप यू लाइक द एजेंडा इफ यू लाइक द एजेंडा टाइप लाइक एल आई के ई लाइक देन आई कैन गो अहेड अदरवाइज आई चेंज द एजेंडा आई कैन टीच एवरीथिंग राइट आई कैन टीच दिस 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 एंड एवरीथिंग ओके एक्सीलेंट सो आई एम सीइंग अ हेल लॉट ऑफ लाइक कमिंग राइट सो आई एम हैप्पी दैट यू गाइस आर विद मी लेट्स गो अहेड गाइस uh if you guys want take a screenshot of this slide you know uh, i have made this slide today and this is just some kind of uh, matrix which i would like to show you guys uh if you want to understand a stands for awareness i stands for interest d stands for desire and a stands for action i hope you understand these funnels right because if i have to explain this another 2 3 hours will go as i told you all we're concentrating today here. we're concentrating on conversions right but the very important slide uh, before i go ahead this is what you need to understand If you make a Facebook ad or a Google ad, you might get one lakh impressions. Now, if you make a Facebook ad, you will get one percent click. When I mean Facebook, I also mean Instagram. If you make an Instagram ad or a Facebook ad, you will get one percent clicks. So, which means from one lakh views that your ad got, you got one thousand people to click on that ad. If the same you do via Google ads, Google search ads, one lakh impressions your ad got, three percent of the audience will click. Which means instead of thousand clicks, you will get three thousand clicks. this is for facebook instagram this is for google search okay i hope you've understood till here you will get 1000 clicks from these 1000 clicks roughly 10% of them will fill up a form on your website name number email id so you will get 100 inquiries from these 100 inquiries one person will buy something and that will be your sales if you all have understood till here please type understood on chat this is general digital marketing 1 lakh people viewed it 1000 people clicked on it 100 people inquired 1 person made a sale right basic basic stuff now if we all are on the same page i can start doing my work right all i want you guys to know is that these all are game changers if this 1% becomes 2% if this 3% becomes 5% if this 10% becomes 20% if this 1% becomes 2% your marketing budget can be smash down you know and and let me give you a very quick practical example on this let let me just one second make a small uh conversion rate chart for you guys yeah let let us spend 2 minutes on a conversion rate chart out here and let us see what is the impact on marketing budget when you do something like this okay let us state and let us take an example of iid let let us take my own businesses example okay Let's say the number of students, okay, number of students at my campus is one thousand students per year, which means my sales target is one thousand people per year, okay. And let us just take for a second. Let's say leads conversion rate, right? Let let us just two minutes, guys, two minutes before I show you all the hacks. We need to understand this because. Lots of people can say, "Ha, mujhe samajh mein aata hai," but when I will prove it to you now, right now your mind will blow on how much money you can save if I, if you do the things that I show you. I, I will save fifty percent of your budget in thirty thirty more minutes today. And last is sales, right? Let us say, for example, let us say, for example, my conversion rate is one percent, which is like a low conversion rate, but is genuinely the conversion rate for ninety percent of the businesses. Ninety percent of the businesses will convert at a one percent rate. So guys, if I need one thousand sales, how many leads will I need? Can somebody tell me on chat? I will need one lakh inquiries if I want to convert one thousand students to pay me. Now let us catch the average cost. Okay, let us just for a minute. Let us just put uh, average. Let, let us just put cost per lead, okay? And you ask any digital marketer, uh, I am saying the cost per lead is three fifty rupees, and I am saying let's say it's three fifty rupees for now, a qualified, a good lead from Google search or Facebook ads, and three hundred, three fifty is not a bad rate to have. Anything between two hundred and four hundred is the cost of a lead. To get someone to click on a Google ad, come to your website, fill up a form, it takes you to three hundred bucks, and you can ask this to anyone, okay? There is no problem. So the marketing spent out here is equal to. One lakh leads into three fifty. 
hey what happened sorry right total marketing budget guys is 3 and a half crores 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes 3 crores 50 lakhs okay now let's take an example and let us move this conversion rate to 5% let us keep target the same let's say i need 1000 sales okay can someone tell me how much i need can someone please tell me how many leads i need rs mayuka absolutely correct i now need 20000 leads if you don't understand the math i will show you is equal to 20000 into 5% you can see the math it will be equal to 1000 okay so i hope you understood right by a 4% increment in my conversion rate my number of leads that i require have dropped down from 1 lakh to 20000 If I put the same figure out here, three fifty, right? What is my new marketing spend? Seventy lakh rupees. Seventy lakh rupees. I hope you understood the entire story, right? It has dropped down by two point eight crores, and I'm still doing the same business. I improve my conversion rate to ten percent. I need one thousand sales. now i only need 10000 leads at 350 rupees i will now need to only spend 35 lakhs right story khatam i have saved mad amount of money for whoever i have hired uh, whoever uh, i'm working for right efficiency is improving but here is the question right how many of you all know what your conversion rates are what are these conversion rates inquiry to sales if you don't know that you're still not a true digital marketer if you still don't know your actual conversion rate how many of you all know your conversion rates if you know type on chat and let us discuss let us discuss your conversion rates for a minute right see most of you all still don't know your conversion rates right so i would recommend spend you know maybe one two months of your time and try finding out ki kitni inquiries how many inquiries you get per month and from those inquiries how many sales you are able to make when you start doing this you are now practicing the golden rule of digital marketing okay this is a golden rule of digital marketing to know the conversion rate inquiry to sales if i go back to my slides i want you to know that i'm talking only about this inquiries which means leads to sales not any of this i'm only today strictly talking about this funnel right is this interesting guys is this interesting to you guys if you yes then type yes on chat right i hope this is very interesting because this is how you bring in business by reducing your marketing budget and increasing the sales right so so if you're enjoying this now my question to all of y'all conversion rate optimizing Uh, well shiva rasure is saying that my conversion rate is 26% shiva you might be selling a low priced product if your conversion rate is so high the minute you can minute you start selling 30000 40000 1 lakh 5 lakh worth products your conversion rates will keep dropping down so it is easy to say as of now but it it gets harder when you start selling bigger tickets the bigger ticket products so by the way guys a, a single course at iid like my offline courses in mumbai costs roughly 1.2 lakh rupees and my post graduate programs cost something like 4 lakh rupees so they are high ticket products right and which is why conversion rates are like this it is similar to uh, these conversion rates would be similar if you're buying a car if you're buying a flat if you're buying even an insurance policy uh, these are the conversion rates that will come there you'll never see a 25% conversion rate so i'm happy for you shiva but reality figures are different right so okay shiva is saying he sells product between 1000 and 2000 rupees that's why now Now, now, now! I hope you all have understood. Now, the big question is, which we will solve practically right now. Okay, uh, it is how to increase the conversion rate. Can you all give me suggestions on how to improve conversion rate? How to take the conversion rate from one percent to ten percent? Can someone tell me how to do that? Give me some suggestions on chat. Optimize landing page automation is what I'm going to be doing, and I will show you all that, guys. Uh, Chaitanya, very correct. Remarketing, marketing automation, very correct. 
quality ads and quality targeting is incorrect tushar because that is bringing in the leads not bringing in the sales right audience targeting rich rich targeting right targeting uh, guys targeting is is going to bring you the leads how do you bring in the sales that some of you all said remarketing which is amazing okay okay so guys amazing let's uh, neha kataria has said email automation absolutely agree right so so now let us get, us get let's get into the practical lowdown of how this actually works i hope you all have understood and we all are on the same page and now we know what we're talking about right so if you guys have enjoyed my session till now guys i post a lot of stuff on my instagram uh follow me um sorry for bringing this here actually purana slide hai isliye aa gaya hai beech mein but if you guys like the session till here then follow me on instagram uh no not intending to have this slide out here but uh, my handle is karan shah 0123 to repeat karan shah 0123 uh let's get going and uh, let's start the first thing according to me in the action stage okay uh which which, which we're going to talk about right now where the person is in the stage and that is remarketing how many of you all do remarketing to your audiences if you don't understand remarketing remarketing is someone coming to your audience someone coming to your website or interacting with you on facebook or instagram and then you remarket to that audience it is the fastest way of bringing sales amazon does it flipkart does it right shiva rasure all your answers are all correct most of your answers are brilliant you don't need to be in the session shiva you can leave actually Tec honestly speaking your answers are absolutely correct my friend guys so action stage number one tactic if you have anything digital okay if you have anything digital the first thing you need to do is remarket to your website visitors to your database to your instagram visitors to your facebook profile visitors right and i want to ask you do you guys know the two most important elements the two most important elements in your remarketing communication if you know type on chat what are two of the best and the most brilliant emotions that your remarketing ad should create in the audience any idea anybody type on chat if you know discount fear congruency discount discount four more fear of missing out is amazing right four more fear of missing out is amazing right somebody has said mr v singh has has given the right answer right one of the biggest biggest emotion that you need to create in your customer is jairaj patel absolutely correct it's urgency emergency or last chance if you are not able to create urgency and the other word is scarcity means limited stock shiva rasure again correct scarcity and aaj today you go and buy a, a hotel room on booking.com it will bloody hell tell you two rooms remaining 200 people viewed this property in the last 24 hours have you experienced this if you have type yes 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 on chat you go to booking.com to buy a hotel room it will tell you two rooms remaining 200 people have viewed this property in the last 24 hours right if you go to amazon it will tell you lightning sale lightning deal available for the next 11 minutes right uh, let me show you i'm just talking here yeah, before i get to remarket i'm, I'm de deviating from topic but you know uh, let me show you this one really funny website right it, it's actually very funny uh, so i'm just going to open one website and i'm just going to call mentorbox.com by tai lopez and uh, alex someone but the funny part about this website is that when you land on it okay it tells you you know offer expires in 34 minutes and 48 seconds okay remember 34 minutes and 45 seconds let's refresh the page once and if you now see the offer is back 34 minutes and 51 seconds if this kind of made you laugh a little bit type ha ha on chat ha 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 <laughs> right more most people most people i'm just trying to tell you if you use this on booking.com anywhere you're going to see something like this right if i refresh it again it's going to start again from the scratch right so it's either scarcity or urgency trying to show you some bullshit like that again right so 
and and I don't know if you guys know, but the owner of this website is a very popular guy. One is Alex Mayer, and the other guy is Ty Lopez. I don't know if you know these guys. Very popular in the digital marketing circuit. Uh, as edu as entrepreneur life coaches, these guys are very very popular in the circuit, right? And these guys are doing such scammy things like this out here, right? Uh, so so urgency. This this is all this is all uh, a part of um, you know action stage marketing. So as I'm saying, this is action stage. Let me just set my PPT correct. This is action stage marketing, guys. And in action stage marketing, right? So let me show you one of my remarketing creatives. Okay. So when someone is at IID, uh, when someone lands on IID's website and and inquires something from us, we will show them an ad which looks like this. Okay. We will show them an ad uh, where in big bold letters, you see. the biggest bold letters i mean the product that we're actually selling is a post graduation program in digital marketing if you can see at the bottom but if you can see what is taking big bold letters out here is applications closing soon right are you understanding how i'm trying to con communicate in my ad big font small font if you understood this write big font on chat then i know that you're actually understanding the concepts that i'm trying to tell you guys You see, my product is post graduation program in digital marketing, but if you see what I'm communicating in big font is urgency, deadline, emergency, scarcity. Right? This is the kind of is the kind of stuff I'm trying to communicate. And right? these are some other remarketing ads where our students work at. These are very credibility, testimonial kind of ads. Right? Neha Kataria is giving a very good example, which says coupon expiring on. You know, if you guys have ever heard of a concept called sunburn, you know, like a sunburn parties. sunburn parties how many of you guys have attended or heard sunburn parties right sunburn parties will always communicate early bird ticket early bird and early bird ticket always expires right so i hope you'll understand what i'm saying right they're trying to communicate some sort of emergency at all points somewhere across the funnel right and all of these things create one thing they improve a impulsiveness of customer to purchase right i hope you all are all with me and you all are understanding right so in the action stage guys coming back to what i was saying in the action stage the most important thing is remarketing if you are not doing remarketing you are failing with your customers communicate urgency communicate something like that so i will just show you all the kind of ads we have okay so today if somebody comes to my website okay just trying to show you somebody comes to my website and they do not fill up a form okay uh and they do not fill up a form they all because i have lots of automation softwares so okay i'm going to give you a case now pay attention stop chatting stop typing someone's come to my website not filled a form if they have not filled a form this is the ad they will see attend our free seminar sorry for the typo this is just a example attend a free seminar on digital marketing attend a free seminar on digital marketing right this is for people who have come to our website not filled a form now if there is someone who's coming to who if there is someone who's filled a form returning leads okay who's filled a form but is not actually purchasing our course or not applying to our course this is the kind of ad they will get make your application today right i hope you all understanding every stage of customer as a different sponsored instagram and facebook ad which i am able to do with my marketing automation softwares right every stage of customer is defined do you think that if i am defining my customer stages like this my sales might improve my funnel rate might improve my conversion rates might improve right now if somebody has actually applied to my program okay and since my programs are very high ticket programs like a college you know but they haven't still paid me the fees 10 days after them applying and not paying the fees they will see see if you are eligible for scholarships apply today deadline this are you seeing in this also we are communicating deadline and we are saying see if you are eligible for scholarships are you understanding so someone has made an entire application to my post graduation program they filled in a huge application form they filled in a test they got shortlisted they are about to now become students but they haven't paid the fees So that's very some for me i want their fees i will show them an ad like this check out the scholarship program do you think that now there's a chance that the guy who was not paying the fees will click on this and come back to my website if you think there's a chance like that type yes yes on chat 
So I hope you guys are realizing the and these are my Facebook, Instagram ads. This this is genuine remarketing. Core offers. These are this is called putting the right ad at the right stage of the customer. And and let me really go back and summarize for you guys, right? If a person comes to my website and does not fill up a form, he will see an ad which says, "Sign up for a free seminar in digital." Marketing. After he signs up for a free seminar in digital marketing, but does not apply to my program, this is you have to apply to my program. He will say, "Make your application today." Applies to the program, does not pay the fees. Check out my scholarship program, and these are all automatic, automated ads. And I will show you my tool also, which I use for automation. But I hope you are conceptually with me and getting it right. I hope I am not taking too much of your time, and you are with me, and you are enjoying listening to me. If if you if so, then type yes, yes. Let's move to the second important thing, which I think is really important when it comes to sales automation, uh, action stage marketing. So again, in the action stage, the second thing that I would tell you guys is email marketing, right? If you there's uh, that's email marketing. So if you see all my emails, right? Here is an email which goes out to our customers. Okay, which says, "Hi, Karan. IID CEO is conducting a master class. This is for people." Who have you know kind of filled in a form, but they haven't taken any action. They'll get an email like this: "Hi, Karan. IID CEO is conducting a master class on how to become a digital marketer in under 30 minutes. In this online master class, he will take you through some extremely successful and proven strategies." I'm reading the copy slowly, slowly. Now read this copy out here. This master class, which is otherwise paid for 500 rupees, is now available for free for the next 48 hours with a 100% off coupon code. Use coupon code DM one hundred one. Coupon code to this masterclass expires in forty eight hours. As an email, do you think that more people will click or less people will click out here? If you think more, type more. If you think less, type less. Right. So suddenly, you all are now telling me that the engagement rate of the customer is going to increase with me. That that's all we need. That's all we need. Right. You see how simply I've worded my stuff out here, right? Do you like how urgent? Do you think there's urgency in this email? If you think there is urgency in this email, type urgency on chat. You won't believe. I have, and I will show you stats. How many people click on this email? <laughs> right? It's a little bit about copywriting. It's a little bit about you know the urgency you're creating and stuff like that. This is this is the kind of stuff you need to understand. If you don't understand this kind of stuff, na, you will keep bringing in inquiries, but you will never convert fast, right? So the first thing I said uh, to improve from leads to sales, first things first is remarketing, uh, which has urgency, and I showed you different different stages. Second thing is email marketing. Again, and all my emails are automated. I hope you understand that I don't sit and send an email to anybody. Right? It's absolutely automated. Uh, my second thing is an email, so it's email marketing. Let's get to the third thing, okay? Uh, which I think again works very well, which is SMS marketing. Okay. By the way, if people don't know out here, an email marketing will have a click rate. Means there will be a okay. Let me just put it down, okay? And and and, and I rather do this on Excel so that you guys can take a screenshot of that, and y'all can make most of your time in this webinar. Guys, whatever I will do, I will ensure that I teach y'all some honest stuff and y'all enjoy some stuff. So I'm gonna make a small table out here. Uh, and I'm going to call it email marketing and SMS marketing. Are you guys able to see my Excel screen? Yes, yes or no, no. Okay, excellent, right? And I'm going to now say uh, open rate and click rate. So I'll be very honest, guys. On an email, for every hundred emails you send. You'll have an eight percent open rate, and for an SMS, I'll say higher than fifty percent. Sorry, fifty percent open rate, which means for every hundred SMSs you get, you'll send fifty will open. <clears throat> But on an email, you'll get a one percent click rate, and on an SMS till date, I have seen a six percent click rate, which basically means this is a winner. In a country like India, this is an absolute winner. Whereas in a country like USA, where SMSs are not that open, but emails are open, this would be an absolute winner. Email marketing. If you've understood till this till your type yes yes on chat. 
<clears throat> right? So once you get your customer's name, number, email ID, if you don't send them an SMS, you're foolish. You have to send them an email. You have to send them an SMS. You have to do all these things to get them back to buy from you. You know, okay. You know, let me quickly ask this question to most of y'all. How many of y'all have clicked on a message from Domino's, which was one plus one free or 20% free and purchased a pizza on Domino's? If yes, type me, M-E. Don't type yes, yes. Type me, M-E. Are y'all realizing? See the number of people who are typing me on chat. All of y'all are converting via SMS marketing. Y'all all are in the action stage. They have your name, number, email ID. Y'all all are converting via SMS marketing. Right? So if you guys are understanding, this is true. True scale SMS marketing. Can you all see my slide right now? Are y'all all able to see my action stage slide? Yes, yes, no, no. Okay, everybody's able to see it, right? So I just proved my point to you and I proved a point where most people are clicking via SMS marketing and are purchasing, right? This also brings me to another place which is called WhatsApp marketing. By the way, if none of you have ever done WhatsApp marketing, let me quickly go ahead and do some, and, and this is how an SMS looks, by the way. I will show you how our SMSs also look, right? So you will get an SMS <clears throat> from IID, which says your IID application deadline is today. Join us for blah, blah, blah. And here is a CTA. I mean, a call to action. A call to action which you can click. Again, if you're noticing, I am creating a lot of urgency in my SMS, right? If you guys are understanding, then type SMS on chat. Right? Now, to some people... I would like to show you all, I have this tool. So here is my WhatsApp guys. <clears throat> here is my WhatsApp out here. Uh, and I am going to very quickly, here is my WhatsApp out here guys. <clears throat> Sorry for all the rubbish on my WhatsApp, but uh, I'm just going to keep my WhatsApp open out here. And I am going to show you if you all haven't used this tool till date, I think it's by far the best tool for WhatsApp marketing. Before I go ahead, I just want to tell you that when you send WhatsApp to people, there is more like a 90% open rate and I have till date seen an over 15% click rate. So by far, I think it's the best system that I have used till date. Okay. Uh, and for this, I use a tool called uh, WhatsApp Sender. Now, if you haven't used this, you can go to... <clears throat> yeah, it's a Chrome extension. I hope you guys can see this. So, chrome.google.com, it's an extension called WhatsApp Sender. It only works on web WhatsApp, not the app WhatsApp, not a browser version. It works on this a Chrome browser version of WhatsApp. I hope that's clear. The second most important point is that you need to be converted from WhatsApp to WhatsApp for business. So you need to convert from WhatsApp to WhatsApp for business. Okay. So here it is. Now I would like, you know, maybe four or five of you guys to give me your phone numbers right now. Type, if you don't mind sharing your phone number and chat, I don't know if Deepak is allowing it. But if any of you guys want to type your phone number on chat and don't give me a random, like don't give me some wrong phone number, okay? I'm just going to type. A, okay, okay, guys, I don't need so many phone numbers. Hello, hello, hello. I don't need so many phone numbers. That's about it. That's about it. Guys, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Right? <laughs> let's let's just pick up a few people, right? So let's take uh, Kaushik's phone number from here. Okay, I'm going to copy it. And basically, you know, you can make a, if you have an entire version, right? I'm just going to delete if you have, um, uh, and if you, and please, whoever I send a message to, don't give my phone number out. So I'm going to copy Kaushik's number. I'm going to copy Shubham's phone number out here. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to copy Shriya's whatever phone number. And I'm going to put it out here. And then I'm going to take, let's say, Jay Prakash's phone number. And I'm going to put it out here. And I'm going to take Soumya's phone number put it and let's say I have no idea how to spell your name but I'm going to put it out here 
and let's say I'm going to take one last phone number and I'm done. Okay. So we guys can take roughly up to, um, you guys can do up to 1500 messages a day. Okay. And all you got to do is you can just copy all your numbers uh, from an Excel and you can paste it in one shot. You don't need to do this individual pasting. They get pasted in one second, by the way. So it's very, very, very simple. Okay. And you can just very simply put down phone numbers out here. Uh, you can copy paste. Uh, can you all see phone numbers out here, guys? Yes, yes or no. So I've put down some few phone numbers out here. And now I can send them a message saying, Hi, this is Karan from IID. Hope you enjoyed my session with Deepak. Shit, my phone got disconnected. One second, hold on. Right, let's, let's get my WhatsApp back. Uh, hope you enjoyed my session with Deepak. Right, so I'm just typing something contextual. Remember that you need to be for WhatsApp for business. Uh, <clears throat> right, and now I can very just simply, uh, to people who are still asking me, what is this tool? This tool is called WhatsApp Sender. It's a Google Chrome plugin. WhatsApp Sender Google Chrome plugin. Just type this much on Google. WhatsApp sender, Google Chrome plugin. And now you can see, I can even add an attachment if I want. It's by the way, absolutely free. It's, it's free. The pro version, which is out here, allows you to customize your field. Like you can say, hi, F name. So the message will go out saying, hi, Anjali. Hi, Mridul. Hi, Shiva. Hi, Mridul. You know, uh, you can customize that much. But if you want the free tool, you can use it for like, and this is marketing automation, right? Uh, what my sales team does is that every day, how many of people inquire, we just click send them this customized message, uh, add our brochure if we want to. And I'm just going to click on send message right now. And you guys are going to see the magic, right? So I'm going to click on send message and I'm going to keep my hands behind my back and you're going to see WhatsApp do the job for me. And my, everyone is going to get the message now one by one. And you can see how I'm hacking my way through this, right? Uh, in my opinion, it only works uh, <clears throat> on Chrome and it doesn't work anywhere else. And you can see how fast it's sending your stuff, right? And boom, all my messages are sent, right? Was this interesting to you? If this was interesting to you, to the eight people who have sent a message, do reply back, yeah? Do reply back saying, like saying whatever you guys like, I don't know. And I have some more people saying, send me also a message. So I'm going to send to them more people a message. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this entire trick, right? So, okay, I'm not going to do it anymore. <clears throat> now, the next, now, the next thing that you guys are asking me, and you can see that all the messages are sent in front of you. My WhatsApp is working and I've managed to send it to everybody. Uh, guys, you're all asking me, send this to me. But I, this, I have more to show you guys. Come on. There, there is more that you'll want to see, right? What I need you guys to understand, and again, people are asking me, what's the name of the tool? As I said, go to Google, type WhatsApp sender, Google Chrome extension. You can see uh, what I've typed. Now, <clears throat> here is my tip. Do not do this from your own phone number. Okay. At some point, you will get blocked by WhatsApp. Uh, so what I really think is that SIM cards are available today at the price of dirt cheap price. Uh, you can keep getting new and new SIM cards. You know, I, I believe you'll all know how to get a SIM card, right? So I have more than 50 SIM cards. Okay. And the minute they get blocked, I put on a new SIM card and I start. Uh, someone is saying you can also do this using broadcast. Excuse me, Parcha, you're wrong. For that, the other person needs to have saved your phone number, my friend. If you send a broadcast, if the opposite person does not have your phone number saved, which will be in most cases, because these are inquiries, uh, they will not get your message, right? So it is very different from a broadcast. In a broadcast, the opposite person needs to have your phone number sent. Gaurav Arya, you can send roughly 1500 messages a day, right? And uh, keep buying new and new SIM cards and switch to WhatsApp for business. It's a great hack until it's available. Keep using it. Uh, it will bring you amazing sales at the end of the day. Uh, SIM cards are for 300 bucks and 200 bucks. And, you know, if you're sending a message to thousand people, um, 
to what is 300 200 bucks it's nothing how many times have i got blocked rohit i've got blocked five times till now uh, and when you get blocked you can uh, send an email to whatsapp from the same app they will say uh, complain to whatsapp when you open the whatsapp app you complain to them and you get unblocked within 48 hours if you get blocked three to four times then they will not block unblock you so if you get unblocked two times three times you send them an email within 48 hours you get unblocked again right so some people are telling me this is illegal not right whatsoever uh, i don't know i don't know about any of those things i am here to talk about how to improve sales today and uh, that's what i'm talking so yeah to the people who like what i'm saying stay with me uh so moving on guys uh, it's jugad rohit absolutely correct it's absolutely jugad right so i hope you guys are uh, following me with me or are staying with me or are understanding what i'm saying right so as i said let's quickly discuss we spoke about three super important tactics uh one was remarketing and personalized level remarketing i showed you all at which lead stage are all my different ads going out second i showed you all email marketing which also i have for multiple lead stages which i will show you when i go live and uh, i showed you all my copy and the uh, urgency i showed you all sms marketing i gave you all rates for sms marketing and i showed you whatsapp marketing also as a trick right now uh let's move to the next one guys which i think is again an amazing way of marketing automation or not marketing automation but to improve your conversion rate and that is uh insta stories facebook stories whatsapp stories now once you figure out that these people have started following you okay on insta facebook whatsapp but you need to know that every platform instagram will be for age group between 16 and 35 facebook will be between 35 and 55 and whatsapp story also the huge population that doesn't use instagram and facebook that well uses whatsapp stories you know you know back in the days we used to have this thing called bbm blackberry messenger stories bbm so if anyone used it type bbm on chat if you've used bbm and you put up bbm stories like a wanna be the og i see kamya saying the og yeah kamya jain absolutely correct the og right that's where stories and you know if you if you're uh, pissed off with your girlfriend you will put up a story if you're very happy in life you'll put up a bbm story right all i want to tell you guys that the population that doesn't use instagram story and facebook stories uses whatsapp stories like recently i like in the last two months i taught 17000 teachers across the country how to teach online 17000 uh, university teachers uh, who teach students above the age of 18 and uh, you know what the fastest way of bringing these teachers was whatsapp stories because they don't use that much of instagram nor do they use that much of facebook all i did was i convinced every one out of every 100 teachers to put up a whatsapp story and that brought me more and more people so remember you should always know your media consumption as i told you in different age groups right stories really works when it comes to action stage marketing action stage is the last stage of marketing before someone is about to buy a product from you i hope you guys are with me you are understanding this this is something like an instagram story that we have school of digital marketing uh, starts 11 january swipe up to apply now so just trying to show you how we try to create some urgency right so i hope you guys have understood you are finding this interesting moving on to the next thing which i think is damn important what tool do i use for sms i use a tool called msg91 msg91 i've typed it on chat uh, for you guys to use msg91 right so the next again super important thing that you need to remember is that if you want to improve your conversion rate from inquiry to sales uh, even though uh, this is a digital marketing session telecalling in india is still the most important right and and <clears throat> so you need to know that that telecalling is super 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 duper important okay how many of you guys have businesses which you use telecalling type telecalling on chat so i have a huge telecalling team by the way have you guys ever been to the office of policy bazaar policy bazaar suna hai kya policy bazaar have you heard of the company called policy bazaar guys policy bazaar man come on 
if you ever google them guys if you ever go to their office right they probably have 5000 telecallers they have two buildings of only telecallers their business is telecalling the business is telecalling you go to their website and you fill up a form i promise you you'll get a call within 5 hours oh sunil kumar says that they have 9500 telecallers that's not a small number my friends imagine policy bazaar india's biggest uh insurance policy company where you can buy health insurance travel insurance uh, life insurance you know all types of different insurance they have 9500 telecallers why because when someone gives a lead they are here which means they are about to buy if they come to your website and they fill up form they are here they are just about to buy if you can see where my cursor is that's where the customer is between desire and action okay now to close him policy bazaar has 9500 people to close all the people who are confused out here and close them in right so i am trying to tell you that even at iid like this is this is a tele script that we have so we make a script for all our callers right and and every script will have an answer which says if the customer says no then say this if the customer says yes then say this if the customer says no then say this if the customer says yes then say this right so i hope you guys understand and if i open the doc it'll be some amazing insane amount of telecalling that's going on out there right so even though this is a class but you need to have sales callers who keep calling and keep calling people to ensure that they're closing business if you're going to call random people you will never close the business but if you're calling people who inquire on your website you will realize that you're closing business much quicker than possible right because people like listening to other people on the phone in india you trust the other person on the phone right so these are all ways to improve conversion rates another great way to improve conversion rate is pop ups website pop ups how many of you guys have pop ups on your website anirudh srinivas excellent my friend right pop ups do a great job right again if you want to do pop ups you know uh pop ups not google adwords pop ups guys pop ups like i'll show you my pop ups okay so today if anybody is ever coming to my website and randomly leaving a leaving my website it will say oh wait don't leave right because you need to know that the maximum amount of action is when someone's on your website if if there's someone on your website and you're not able to close the deal it's stupid don't waste money on advertising when there's actually a potential customer who's visited your website right so you can spend money on advertising but when you realize that daily 500 1000 200 1000 5000 500 people are coming to your website first your job should be to convert those 200 daily visitors who come to your website your second job would be to increase the number of visitors from 200 to 1000 but if there are already 200 people coming to your website the first job is to convert those 200 people coming to your website do you agree with me or disagree with me agree or disagree type on chat the first job guys is to convert those 200 website visitors and if you have a website today having 50 100 200 visitors per day is very easy your second job is to move from 200 visitors to 1000 visitors and you can do that with pop ups like today if someone's leaving my website i will do a pop up which says no one likes pop ups attend our free seminar and walk out with a digital marketing plan right as same if the person is a lead if you can see on my screen out here is a lead hasn't applied they'll get a pop up saying the time is ticking apply now and take your test right uh, satish kataria is asking me for a tele calling automation automation tool satish you should look at this tool called exotel or you should look at a tool called amio uh you will give me five kisses after you uh, i'm straight but i'm just saying that you will you will really like me once you use an exotel service uh you will be able to improve your calling services by at least 100% you will 2x your tele calling services app sumo dattareya is uh, not the best i would say exotel is the best service i have seen till date <clears throat> for tele calling right uh, or you see you know nolarity is not as good got up this is all that's like a super receptionist right this is outbound calling 
Uh, and and like you can see pop ups right if somebody's applied to my program not paid me fees they will see a pop up which says we also offer scholarships see if i'm eligible for one so you see every pop up is kind of customized for the stage of the customer right jigar patel says is using exotel so maybe you can connect jigar and uh, satish all can connect and help each other since you're from the community of digital marketing learners right so i hope you guys have understood right uh this these were all the five or six things which i think will genuinely help you improve your conversion rate from 1% to 5% or from 5% to 7.5 8.5 10% right so if you guys are going to do these things remarketing email marketing sms marketing whatsapp marketing instagram stories facebook stories telecalling and pop ups right you will be able to really improve your re, your entire conversion rate funnel and you will be able to absolutely reduce your marketing budget now gorav is asking me linkedin automation okay gorav i will show that i forgot about that but i will show that uh but you will drastically be able to drop down your marketing budget because your conversion rates are increasing so from the same number of leads you will be able to create more uh sales if you guys have enjoyed till now type in capital letters enjoyed let deepak also know that bringing me onto the show is cool <laughs> right so so let's take it live guys let me show you my tool would you like to see my tool if you would like to see my tool say tool on chat okay excellent you know let's do my tool for a bit so guys i am using a tool it cost me roughly 40000 rupees a month but i am using a tool called web engage if you can see on can you all see my screen web engage hey, can you all see web engage on the left okay excellent 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 right this is the tool i use for all the marketing i just said besides telecalling uh, for all the marketing i just said i use this tool right so so if you can see i am able to do emails uh transfer all my customers in terms of who is an inquiry who is an application to facebook for advertising i am able to do a little bit of whatsapp which i cannot it's confidential i cannot say that right now i am able to put some on site notifications i'm able to do sms in app push notification i'm able to do everything right so in this guys what we do is we create things called journeys Right. it is not free i pay 40000 bucks a month for using this tool right so i roughly pay I, i i don't know in terms of dollars how much that is uh but should be around 5 600 dollars a month is what i pay uh and and i run a large size business guys which is why i need such tools because i i clock in uh maybe you know 500 inquiries a day so so i need such automation tools it saves me a lot of manpower right so let us let us look at let us look at something <clears throat> uh let's look at this new marketing leads uh 2020 promo okay and i want you to see what kind of automations we create okay so i'm going to go to a live view you can see how many people are in this system right now and and you can see what is happening right and this is just a last seven seven days ka views guys this is just last seven days ka views and if i make this last 30 days for example everything will change right so now you guys can see what is happening right you can see that i have sent an email called uh, placements and i have a 7% click rate on it if you guys can see right uh, uh chavi you can use um, a zoho crm if you like i'm actually not sure who will give but this is how it looks pay attention guys this is how it looks and this is what and and, and if i would ever have to say i i would say that i would pay someone who knows marketing automation very well right so if you guys can see this is the kind of stuff that we create out here Just my laptop is a little slow, guys, because this tool is extremely heavy. And if you guys can see the entire journey right now, 
uh, it's going to be a little hard to because it's a new journey that we've created right but if you guys can see what we have done out here so we say when user enters our one of our journeys in our language something uh, we don't want to disturb them because they've just signed up with us they've already got a thank you email from us we will wait for 7 days you can see there are 20000 people who have entered the 7 day journey and 435 are going to get transferred right now these 20000 people are waiting for 7 days then you can see uh that there are 16000 people who still have not paid for my courses they're still in the journey the first email went to 15000 people out here right then we again waited for 7 days after waiting for 7 days we checked again have they purchased our course okay they have not purchased our course if they have not purchased our course let's send them one more email let's send them a master class email e-commerce promo master class this is a very similar master class let me open this and show you It's exactly what I showed you guys a minute ago, right? This message, if you can see out here, this is how it looks. The subject line is "Make an e-commerce website in under one hour," and and if you want to see the entire email, this is what it says. Right? It says something called. Right, and you can see it's customized because it says "Hi, user system first name." So it will always change the name. Hi, Karan. Hi, Anabil. Hi, Drishan. Hi, Harsh. Hi, Sri Lata. IID is conducting a master class on setting up an e-commerce store in 60 minutes. In this master class, you'll learn blah 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 blah. And then this master class, which is otherwise paid for 500, is now available for free for the next 48 hours with a 100% coupon code. Use this blah blah blah. Very similar example to the other email I showed you, right? Now. a lot of people will click and sign up on this email right so i can view the analytics and i can view whatsoever i want and and i can you can again see i've created this entire journey wait for and this is just an email journey now if you see this out here this is an sms right so after sending a particular email out here we're waiting for 3 days and we're sending an sms to them so let us open one of the sms right now so you need to be a pro at planning such kind of journeys guys right so look at my sms now it says again hi user f name enroll if you sorry let me show it to you in a preview mode uh if you can see this out here on the right hand of the screen this is how the sms goes hi karan enroll for 10 in 1 mega digital marketing certification at a special discounted price start with 30 free lectures and the link actually becomes very small when you send it it will be uh, very very small when you send it right now it's looking big out here but if i actually send the sms the link is very small uh so i hope you are understanding like at some time i'm sending an email sometimes i'm sending an sms sometimes i'm doing a pop up right at some places i'm doing uh, an ad right? at different different times i'm doing different different kinds of things to ensure that my absolute end result journey is becoming excellent right so if i have to show you let me see if i have a current pop up running i'm not really sure right so you can kind of see that uh, in this pop up you can see that 1300 people saw it 778 people were unique people who saw it and out of that 10% of the unique people clicked 73 is 10% of 7770 guys 10% clicked and i got three conversions from there right three people purchased my course from there is it making sense to you guys yes yes no no are you seeing three people converted well if this is too long a session you can leave but like i'm trying to do my best to like you know zone in with you guys and show you practically what's happening right, this is excellent content guys this is going to improve your conversion rate from 1% to 10% and every year you will keep improving see don't try moving from 1 to 10 in one year Move from one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, and it'll keep happening every nine months, six months, one year. Every time you keep mastering the skill a little bit more, right? From where to start? Start from where you collect the lead. So, Mr. V Singh is asking me where to start. Start from where you collect the lead, and now think lead ko email beje, SMS beje, Mr. V P Singh. I hope you got my point. From wherever you collect the lead, the last communication of the lead, start moving from there, and start attacking from there. 
right? Uh, I am on YouTube, but not so much on YouTube. It's uh, IID online is my YouTube handle. Uh, but guys, I don't have so many videos on it. Coming to my last part of the session, which is LinkedIn automation. Uh, if you guys haven't used this, I'm going to show you a Dhamakedar tool right now. It's again uh, a very cheap tool. It's 1000 rupees a month. Only 1000 rupees a month. Nothing besides that. Uh, Mr. VP Singh, I cannot give my WhatsApp number. Please, I'm sorry. Uh, email me or reach out to me on Instagram. If you reach out to me on Instagram, I will definitely help you, my friend. Right, so this is my LinkedIn account, guys. Uh, I'm going to put on my Instagram handle also out here so you guys can follow me. Uh, but guys, I want you all to see this out here. And I am using a tool called Linked Helper. How many of you guys have used Linked Helper? Type LH on chat. If you have, you can thoroughly leave the call because I'm going to show you something repetitive. Uh, if you haven't, uh, it's, it's a mind-blowing tool. Right. So, uh, and how many of y'all haven't used LinkedIn link helper type? No on chat. That means you've not used link helper. Then it makes sense if I should show it or I should not show it. Okay, excellent. Sorry, something in my mouth, so I was busy. Uh, do you need LinkedIn premium for this? No, sir, you do not need LinkedIn premium for this. Okay. So, you start something called Linked Helper, guys. It's an amazing tool. Let's start using it. Do something very simple. Go to Google, type Linked Helper. Okay. Uh, will not LinkedIn ban us for using this tool? Ankush Singh, when you'll see this tool, you'll understand how LinkedIn can't figure it out. Right, and you can download this linked helper tool. They have more than enough DIY videos. Do it yourself and you'll learn it. But still, let me do a small demonstration for you guys. So I'm going to open my tool out here. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to first uh, copy paste a message which I want to send to everybody. So I'm just going to take an old message of mine. So I'm going to just pick up this message from here and I'm going to just copy paste, copy this and keep it ready. And I'm going to shut this. Now what I'm going to do is guys, so guys, I do a lot of corporate training. Uh, I do, I, I, I have trained all salesmen of each and every showroom of Mahindra and Mahindra Pan India, each and every Volkswagen showroom Pan India. I have sailed all uh, trained all center man uh, branch managers, sales managers, I've trained more than, uh, I've trained every brand manager at Abbott Pharmaceutical, Cipla Pharmaceutical, Pfizer Pharmaceutical. I have trained Estee Lauder Cosmetics, which is MAC Cosmetics, Bobby Brown, uh, DKNY. So I, I do insane amount of corporate training. It, it's a high ticket training. It pays me off very well. But how I actually get in my sales is what I will show you today. Okay, so how I get high ticket customers, very, very high ticket customers who pay me something like, 1.5 lakhs for like, you know, a three hour session, 50 grand a session is what I would charge. And that's that. How do I get such high ticket is what I really want to show you guys right now. So if you are excited, type excited on chat, I will show you genuinely how it works. Guys, I'm a very honest person. I share everything. Um, you only get smarter when you share. And that's the reality. The people who hide never get smarter because they're never able to get feedback and never able to share. So I share Bindas. And even if I get blocked, I figure a new way to figure things out. I'm a salesman. I'll figure my life out always. Right. So download linked, linked helper. Right? as I told you, download linked helper. And, and once you download it, uh, it will come as a plugin out here on your linked out here. Okay. It's, it's similar to a Chrome plugin. Now you do very bindas, like go and type. So I'm going to type over here. And, and so my, the people who I get in touch with are called uh, learning and development officers. The designation that these companies give them, these multinational companies give them is learning officers. So I'm going to type learning pharmaceutical. Sorry. Okay, just for it, just for, for one minute out here. I don't know why this is not moving away.
Just guys, I'm going to refresh my screen. I don't know why this dumb thing is out there. Okay, now it's gone. Uh, MD, Raghib, Chishti, you will learn on, on yourself when you watch the video, my friend. As a DIY video. So you see, I have a lot of results out here. <clears throat> right, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to very quickly uh, click on people. And after I click on people, I am going to very quickly hit a filter. Okay. So now you see what I'm going to do and pay attention, everybody. I'm going to click on all filters and now I'm going to do some filtering. So I'm going to say, I want to reach out to my second connections and my third connections. I want to talk to people within India and I want to talk to people at Johnson and Johnson at Biomarin. Uh, let's type a few more companies, walk hard, you know, uh, let's type Sun Pharma. I hope you've heard of some of these companies, guys. I don't know if you know. Uh, let's talk about Pfizer. Oops, sorry, not Pepsi. Yeah, Pfizer. Uh, Novartis. Uh, these are all really large pharmaceutical companies. Lupin. Right, Really, really large scale. Pharma. So I, I, I'm done. I'm not going to put in more. But you can put in up to 100 companies out here. Okay. Uh, Zydis. Okay. Uh, let's say Zydus group. So I have just put in certain amount of pharmaceutical companies, but you can put in more than a hundred companies out here. Go down and don't do anything for past companies. That is where people were working previously. Forget it. Now type on, now click out here and in industry type human resource or type learning. Let's check. And let us just see if anything comes in learning or let's type talent. Nothing. Okay. Development. Maybe program development. Okay. Whatsoever. Okay. So I've clicked on a few English speakers and I'm going to click on apply. Yeah. Training, training. Anish Chanda, Chanda, right word, right? Training was the right word. And now you see, I've got all the right guys out here. 151 people. I've got all the absolute right guys out here, right? I've got lead talent acquisition. See, some of them might be wrong. Some of them, most of them sound correct. Do you think they sound correct? Uh, do yes, yes on chat, right? If I go to page two, like at least they are relevant, right? It's, it's besides talking to shitty people, you see manager, human resources, HR executive, manage people and organization. Right. Most of them are worthwhile people, HR leader, John. These are the guys who will decide if their employees need training and will give me business. Right. And now what I very simply do is I'll open link helper. And now I will click on this button called collect. Okay. Collect. Now see what it's doing. It will, and my hands are behind guys. I'm not moving my hands. It's collected 19. It's collected 10 people. It is acting, it is acting me out. It is acting like a human being is scrolling the screen. A human being is scrolling the screen. That is what it's trying to display to you, by the way. It's a bot, right? And now I'm going to click on stop collecting contacts because this is just for a dummy purpose, right? So my hands are behind and back. You can see it's still going to collect a few more because it's behaving like a bot, right? And now what I'm going to do is I am going to view these 37 people. So I can now see Natasha who learning partner at Novartis, Irfan Mohammad, learning partner, all the right guys, right? All the right guys are here from every goddamn company, LMS specialist, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to quickly close this and now I'm going to click on message and now I'm going to make my message. Okay. And you can see my message is already created out here. Hi, first name. First name can you can be picked up from here and it will say, Hi, Karan. I'm a pharma corporate training specialist in digital marketing. I recently trained 330 plus brand marketing managers of Abbott, Pfizer, Cipla, and DM. Since you are a position, position matlab unka post, thought I'd say hi, do reply, hi to connect. That's all I am messaging. Okay. Since you are a hi designation. If somebody doesn't have their position uh, in their profile, it will pick up the word high designation. So it will say, since you are a high designation, thought I'd say hi. 
if they have position in their profile, it will pick up, pick that up from their profile. Now I'm going to preview and see how this looks. Hi, Bill. I'm a pharma corporate training specialist. I recently did blah, 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 blah. Since you are a co-chair, can you see? Uh, thought I'd say hi. Guys, I've been using this tool for more than two, maybe one year and I've never got hacked. I've never got blocked. And I'll show you why I've never got blocked. Because they have a new feature. Okay, they have a feature called, now I'm going to click on invite. And when I click on invite, they have a feature called timeout settings. Okay. So here is what the timeout settings look like. It says, after you click on connect, should it, and you can say fast or you can say safe. So after you click on the connect button on LinkedIn, it will wait 120 seconds. After another 120 seconds, it will click on add note. After another 120 seconds, it will insert the message. After 60 seconds, it will send the send button. And after 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes, it will go to the next contact. Right? So it is extremely slow. It is extremely behaving like a bot. If I want to really fasten it up, and this is where you might get blocked, you can move to fast timeouts where everything will happen very fast, 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 fast. Okay. And now you see how fast everything is happening. It will add note after three seconds. It will send after 15 seconds, right? It is, it's changing. So fast timeouts, safe timeouts, play safe for just webinar purpose. Do not take up your time. I'm going to click on fast timeouts and I'm going to click on type the message. Okay. Save. And now I am going to start. So again, guys, I'm going to click on start profile hands behind my back and now see the magic that my bot is doing for LinkedIn. Right. Meanwhile, I'm happy to collect some questions because I'm most likely kind of done at my session. Uh, if there's hi, can you also give some tips on DM strategies you do for making people visit your website? Well, I do lots of ads, uh, which don't bring me conversion, but Google ads is the best. I do loads of Google ads, right? So if you guys are paying attention right now, I am on Natasha's profile. My hands are behind my back. It's moving automatically. It's checking out our entire profile like a human being would check a profile out. A good tool for email marketing, I think is ConvertKit, uh, Aweber. Uh, do I suggest this for B2B sales? Gaurav, this is for B2B sales, my friend. This is absolutely for B2B sales. Right. You can see now it's clicking on connect after four seconds. Uh, well, you can get best videos created on Upwork or Pfizer. It will add a random email ID also guys. If the, if it asks for an email ID and now you can see it will send a message. It's typing the message automatically. I'm right here and it is sending a message by itself and you can see that it will pick up her designation in some time. Right. So pay attention. Are you all finding this cool type cool in capital letters? This is a growth hacking tool. See, now it'll say, since you are a learning, see, it's all saying automatically learning partner thought I'd say hi. <laughs> and now it'll send the message and uh, you can see what's happening, right? Uh, you don't need LinkedIn sales manager. You need nothing guys. You need nothing for this. Right? So it's kind of done. It will move to the next profile automatically and it'll just keep doing this. What you got to remember is you can't minimize your screen, huh guys? You have to let the screen run independently. So throughout the day, don't minimize the screen, let it run. And, uh, and you can use other tabs. There's no problem if you're using other windows, but do not open another tab out here. Do not open another tab. This will pause. So keep your LinkedIn on. What I end up doing is I just keep my screen at the bottom every time and I am functioning. Should we use this tool to grow our network? I'd say use this tool for doing hardcore B2B sales. It's a magical tool. Guys, for me, one, one corporate sale uh, for if I'm teaching for three hours, I'm getting paid one and a half lakh. So most people do a three day contract with me. I get one. I get 50 leads, one person closes, I make four and a half lakhs and I've sent them messages. So forget talking about my revenues and all. I'm just trying to tell you that this is how it works. You can get some really high paying B2B customers via this. And you can see again, hands-free, it's moved to the next profile and it's doing its job. 
can we use this to send uh, resumes uh, not actually because i don't think you can attach a file in this right but i hope you have understood and enjoyed this the name of this tool is linked helper i'm going to stop this tool right now guys because i'm going to um, stop this for the day <clears throat> Sanjeet Chakrabarti, you've kind of got me right. Not everything is right, but you've kind of got me right. So you can see this tool is working and I can now say stop profile inviting. And tomorrow when I want to start, it will start automatically anyway. Right. So, so I hope this was absolute gold for you guys and, and it worked and it will still do one, two people even after you click on stop because it's a robot, it takes time to stop it. So anyway, just quickly moving back to my uh, presentation to end today's uh, class entire webinar in one shot. Just like like to introduce myself, guys. Um, I don't teach much, to be very honest, uh, anymore. I've been a trainer for a very long time. I do corporate training. I teach only my postgraduate kids. We have loads of students. But this is what I run, guys. I run IID, which is the Indian Institute of Digital Education. We're India's number one digital institute. Uh, well, we have two major offerings. Uh, one is a post-graduation in digital marketing. It's an 11-month full-time on campus every day with a two-month compulsory internship, uh, which we do. And this is only for post-grads. Uh, it's a really hectic and it's, it's, it's only 25 students who I teach once a week and my other teachers teach for the remaining five days in a week. Uh, these are the guys who I really invest in. The minimum starting salary they get is six to eight lakhs because I teach them once a week. So it's, it's mad. Well, Digital Deepak is number one as an individual trainer. We're an institute, guys. We have different values out here. I also have, for other people who don't want to do a big 11-month program, we have a digital marketing online training, which is a live training on a Zoom call. That's two to three months, depending on weekday and weekend. Again, every day or every weekend, and it's instructor-led live training. So if you want, you can even do that. Uh, but it's again live. Uh, I meet you guys once in your two months out here. Or we have a lots of video on demand courses where each course is by a unique individual. So every course is taught by a unique teacher. Uh, you can see how all the, and you can see the quality of animation and the quality of high quality courses we make. So we have different, different, different trainers out here who are doing these courses. These are our video courses, guys. Uh, we have more than 10 to 12 video courses and we have more than 43,000 learners for this. Um, and all of these put together costs and it's because it's absolutely DIY. It's for just for 15,000 bucks. Um, plus tax. So whoever's interested can, you know, go to my website, click on video courses and you can buy all 10 of my courses, including my course where I teach Facebook ads because I'm a Facebook ad specialist. Uh, part-time courses, Saloni are my two month online courses, uh, which are live. They are part-time uh, and you can do that. <clears throat> but if you guys are doing, uh, if you guys are doing video courses, you can sign up if you want to just have all the courses for 15,000 bucks for, but for this session, uh, we're going to drop it down from 14999 and we're going to drop it down to 12999 inclusive of tax. Uh, but you got to use the coupon code. Actually, the right value is 99999. So we're going to drop down the price if you guys really want. But this offer is going to be valid only for 24 hours. Uh, we're going to learn from all different urgency, 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 urgency. <laughs> If you guys want to buy and you want to learn all these courses, you'll absolutely can. Uh, but on the website, if you go, it will say 14999 plus tax. And if you guys want to buy all the video courses in one shot, uh, you guys can use the coupon code, which is Deepak. Uh, it will, the coupon code will expire uh, at 2359 tomorrow. So you guys can go ahead and 999 is applicable to my video courses, guys. Uh, it's applicable to my, these video courses, which is, these are all video courses. And if you want to see a snippet of them, uh, this is how they look. They have different teachers for every course, uh, in these courses and they are high quality video showroom shot, uh, really super courses, right? If you're a really, and this is for people who want to do a DIY. If you're working professionals, I would recommend this. And if you want to make a very serious career, I would recommend a post-graduation. So it's very serious career, post-graduation want to learn about it. I want to talk to a mentor who do digital marketing, online training, want to do a total DIY for your business. Then these are the video courses, super high quality, uh, proper audio, proper video animation, everything going so you don't get bored in this. Honestly, 
for every one hour of video lecture is equal to 10 hours of classroom lectures. So the cost for the PG program is 4 lakhs inclusive of tax. And the cost for the live lecture is 60,000 inclusive of tax. But the video lectures where we teach you how to build a website, how to SEO, how to make Google ads, how to create proper ads, how to make Instagram ads, how to do online reputation management, uh, higher than IIT. What I teach you how to sell, my friend, is the biggest skill. Well, we got math sort of PG programs for one year, Mridul. We, and in the video courses, just I don't want to get distracted. In the video courses, we teach you copywriting, we teach you email marketing, we teach you Google ads, we teach you SEO, ORM, Facebook ads, and lots of other things. E-commerce. And as I told you, there are more than 43,000 students who are studying with us. Um, on the website, it will say 14999, but not 1299, but 999 is what you will get it for. And that will be with a coupon code DEPAK, D-E-E-P-A-K. Uh, and it's valid only for 24 hours, it will expire. So for that, this is the link, online.iid.co slash bundle. Um, I'm just going to put it up on your on chat. That's the link. And you can click on this link. And when you click on this link, you will reach a web page, online.iid.co slash bundle. And because it's... It's weird. I think it's the wrong link that I've given you guys. <laughs> oh no, it's the right link, right? You can click on online.iid.co slash bundle and you will be redirected to this page where you will see 10 in one. So 10 courses in one mega digital marketing bundle and you will see all the 10 courses, Facebook, SEO, website, Google ads, copywriting, ORM, ad design, uh, email marketing, ASO, Google analytics. And on the website, you will see it's 14999 plus tax, but you can use the coupon code and you can get it. It's for only 24 hours. Anyway, this is what we do. I don't do any one-on-one -on -one coaching guys. So this is my details. If you guys like me, you want to communicate with me, uh, reach out to me guys. I'm extremely active on my LinkedIn. To be honest, it's by far my most active channel, uh, LinkedIn. Um, I'm very active on LinkedIn. Uh, I use the same handle for my Instagram, which is Karancha0123. My website is iide.co. I don't teach that often guys, uh, but I, I genuinely enjoy teaching today after a really long time. I think I had mad fun uh, showing you guys what I do. And IID, and if you want to know about any other meetups, just like Deepak, you can follow me on IID online where we talk about who's speaking every when. Every Wednesday, we do a free session and you guys can figure it out. <clears throat> so yeah, that's IID for you guys. Thank you so much for your time. I would love it if you guys can fill up this feedback form, guys. Uh, I just want to know uh, how this session went. This is one of my first sessions with Deepak and his audience. Not my first or my second session. But if you guys like this, fill up this feedback form. Uh, and you can also scan the QR code if you like. I have pasted the feedback form. Uh, you can choose to get connected with my counselors. Um, and if you like it, write uh, must, M-A-S-T on chat. Like Satish Kataria is saying, must, M-A-S-T. <laughs> I see a lot of people typing must, jakas, must. Thank you so much. I highly recommend you guys to fill up a feedback form, guys. Because I haven't done this. So I'm pasting non-stop links. So I'm must, must, jakas, jakas. Come lick it, a feedback form. So I'm so, Jakas, Bidu, Rapchik, Must, everyone's going full ape shit. Amir Khan, Ritik, everyone's language, you know, uh, Andaz, Apne, Apne language right now. I can, I can feel it. Right, so, put in loads of feedback links for you guys. Click on anything. Right. Uh, lots of people asking for recording. I don't know how to get that. But Deepak, if you're on call, I'm going to go off in the next like one minute, buddy. Uh, very big thank you for letting me come on to this platform. Yep, I'm here. Thank you very much for letting me come on this platform, my friend. Fantastic. Uh, guys, I hope you liked the webinar. Guys, please tell Deepak so he calls me for more of these sessions, you know. He has a lot of other friends in the industry and I want to become uh, one of Deepak's good friends now. So if it was <laughs> Fantastic. I, I, I need you guys to know, and I want you all to know that a lot of my digital marketing, I have also learned from reading Deepak's blogs. So I hope you guys are also reading Deepak's blogs because that's what I learned a lot of my digital marketing. Deepak doesn't know that some of our SEO and some of the things we teach are actually screenshots from his blogs. 
so that's a reality you know i i have learned a lot and i will give him the credit for that to be very honest so guys i've pasted a feedback form link yaar agar pasand aaya go click on the link and fill up a feedback form just this very three questions that are rate me out of 9 on 10 or out of 10 with a scale of 1 to 10 my quality of content and the quality of interaction just rate that much two questions are on the form and um, yeah thank you so much for your time guys uh, i am very happy to do this thank you so much for this great audience deepak i hope they enjoyed i hope you enjoyed i showed my level best or whatever i could do and i've taken this webinar for 2 hours now <laughs> <laughs> I also learned a lot about the WhatsApp automation things and LinkedIn. Uh, Thank you so much, Deepak. So fantastic, Karan. Uh, we'll probably do more of this. Surely, man. Surely. So, so thank you so much, Deepak. Let's get a quick photo together, buddy. Let's yes. Do a thumbs up, or how would you like to do it? And you can put a put your Instagram uh, ID on the chat box, guys. My Instagram ID. I'll put it on the chat box. You can take a photo. and i yes i will be putting the recording on youtube as well so no worries so my ig is one i have given you hmm yes let's take a photo let's take a nice quick photo cheese the park <laughs> Thank you so much guys it was it was great having you guys out yes. here and thank you so much for your time Deepak hope to see you thank guys Thank you soon. thank you Karan see you good Hope's night you. bye 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 see you